a quick nugget of wisdom. What does thousand millionaires have in common? I ask this question to E.S. Korkowitz who have interviewed thousand millionaires. Let's hear from him those great insights. Um, I had a radio talk show. Um, I interviewed 1,000 millionaires in two years. Uh, I interviewed three a day for 20 minutes each, a millionaire, five days a week for two years solid. And lo looked for those commonalities, those things that they had in their life. And you know what was interesting, Joseph, is that all of them had setbacks also. So what happened was, as I learned these things, one of the first things my business mentor taught me was get rid of the word failure. Do not use the word. Eliminate it from your verbiage. Don't say it. He said, because failure is, it's got too much of an eternal ring to it. He said, supplant that word with temporary defeat. He said, because that's really all it is, is a temporary defeat. He said, and when you've been tackled, you're going to stand up. He said, and you're going to get tackled in life. It's going to happen. He said, if someone says they've never been tackled, he said, move away from them because they're next. <laughs> and, they're, and, and if they've never been tackled, they're about ready. They've been saving up. It's going to be a real tackle, right? He said, so make sure you supplant and use the word temporary defeat because when you've been tackled, you'll stand up. And he said, when you do, you realize you just got a first down. You're still in the game. He said, so don't use the word failure because when you use the word failure, you're throwing yourself out of the game. Don't throw yourself out of the game. Remember, change the word failure for temporary defeat because everyone has defeats in life. But that does not take you out of the game. A quick nugget of wisdom.